No, he didn't slam you, he didn't bump you, he didn't nudge you. He rubbed you. And Robin's son is racing. All right, folks, we're here. Mooresville, North Carolina, one of my bucket list items I wanted to do. Of course, you've already seen the thumbnail, Days of Thunder, summer of 1990, Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman, Fred Thompson, who I've already done a video on on my channel, go check it out. I'll put a link down in the description, y'all can check that out for me. Um, I'm here with one of my favorite people today. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him in because I want him on the whole video. Scott on tape, my man. What's up, everyone? So, we're gonna go, uh, we've got a filming location here in front of us. This is kind of, it's, it's kind of an odd, you know, crazy this video there's not a lot of locations and the ones that there are are very spread out and really inaccessible because the most of them are racetracks mm -hmm. days of thunder was uh an oddly re uh, received video when it came out um i looked on the internet and it was it was rated like 6.1 out of 10 i thought it would have been like an 8 out of 10 personally and uh so i remember when it came out yeah i was gonna ask like you know what was the feel back then i, mean, I remember when it came out but like scott's from canada if y'all don't know so like Back then, how was it received? Do you remember anything about that? Well, that was definitely the, the golden era of summer blockbusters was late 80s, early 90s. What was every studio, what they did was they waited for dramas, winter, big action, big screen uh, would be in the summer. In 1989, I was saying before, it was known as the summer sequel. So 1990 had a lot of different types of movies that came out that summer. And Days of Thunder is one of them. Tom Cruise at the time, of course still is, was like the biggest star on the planet so he did this is almost a vanity project for him yeah like it was like what a car a movie about car racing like you know after mm -hmm. coming off a top gun cocktail a few other movies he was doing back then and then days of thunder came kind of came annoyed. and it, it's for me personally as a huge tom cruise fan and i love his movies i remember being young and seeing that thinking it's a little it's not it's a little flat there's a lot of you know it's a lot of just cars racing around and it's got a, it's good but it's it wasn't great and it's got robert town who wrote it who's an incredible chinatown the two jakes you know he's an incredible shampoo uh he's an incredible screenwriter yeah. and then he wrote the firm for tom cruise to the first two mission impossibles they took team up so and tony scott who's one of the best action directors you know tom cruise is a recipe for all for success but it wasn't that well received when it oh, came out yeah yeah, so uh, like I said, I looked it up. It grossed about 160 million, which, which is great, but yeah. no, but, but underperformed. Yeah, but the, and, and even in the credits, it's, you know, that's Tom Cruise. That's Tom Cruise money. Yeah. You know, when Tom Cruise is in a uh, movie like that, you can expect it to have. It's, right. Like Scott said, coming off of Top Gun and Air Cocktail and everything, Tom Cruise was banging back then. He was he was the the bee's knees, if you will. He, he was doing it. Yeah. You know? Back then, it was 100 million was a success, but you were looking at 200 million for a big block. A, a movie would make 200 million at the box office. So it didn't live up to the expectations of a Tom yeah. Cruise movie, Yeah, you know, but I mean, it's still good. And for my age group at the time, scenes with Nicole Kidman with the sugar packet, you know, you know, it was very, very- Learning how to draft. Yeah, and uh, Nicole Kidman, she's this burst of energy on screen. You've never yeah. seen her before. She was only in Dead Calm and a few, a lot of Australian movies. So apparently Tom Cruise saw her in Dead Calm and said, that's her That's I want. my girl, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, she is, she lights yeah. up the screen in that movie. Yeah. And, you know, you mentioned other, John C. Riley, Michael Rooker, one of the most oh. underrated actors ever. Yeah. You know, he's good in everything. Yeah. Uh, Randy Quaid, crazy Randy Quaid, he's in it. He's great. And Robert Duvall, man. Y'all see why I love having this guy on my videos, man. He's a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> An OG wow. from the filming locations. <laughs> we're going to spin the camera around. I'm going to show you what we're looking this is at. awesome. And uh, y'all check this out. All right, folks, that's it right there. That's the establishing shot. I'm gonna throw a uh, screenshot in here so y'all can line this up, check it out. And me and Scott are gonna walk down and that's gonna- That's what's so exciting. We get to go in. We get to go in this thing, man, and check it out. Just so, show this, I mean, there's strip plazas and mall, like malls all the way around and this bar yeah. from a movie right here. Yeah, so we're in Mooresville, North Carolina. You know, y'all may not know it, but this is like race capital USA. There's a lot of money here. And right in the middle of this big shopping center is this barn with Scott on tape. I don't think you 
Yes, yeah, so we're debating on this. I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to talk to y'all for a second. Um, yeah, so we were debating this, whether they filmed this in here or not. It's, it definitely like, looks like it, and it's, this is old, like um, old, like 90s, 80s. Yeah. But the same wood, you can tell. But if they filmed it, they filmed it on this level. Yeah, and if you look at the, uh, I'm, I'm going to put some video in right now for y'all to see. And uh, whenever Robert Duvall is talking to the car about how he's going to build it and shave yeah. some of the inches and add a big fuel line, there's a shiny floor underneath the car, and it's got to be concrete. And I can't find anywhere, and we're literally walking through the mud here. I'm sorry. Oh, here's some stairs in the back. There is some? Yeah. Ah, yeah. All right, let me turn this around for y'all. So, yeah, we're going to walk back in here and check this out. This is what's cool about filming locations, folks. We talk to people all the time about this. Why do we do it? This is one of the reasons right here. Yeah. Nope, they're not stairs. So, I'm not seeing any concrete in here. That's not to say they wouldn't have removed it, but there's concrete right here, Scott. Yeah, but it looks so much bigger. It's got to be way up there. This thing's so rickety, man. I don't know if I want to go up there. Uh, ah. Look at that. Not getting up yeah. this way. I don't think, I don't know how to get there. No, so. the ramp, it looks like maybe they had ramps. Here. I wonder could they have like polished the wood up enough or something to make it shine? Well, they can lay something over top. Could be That's, a studio. Yeah. Ooh. yeah, this is not a uh, great spot. Yeah. I mean, walking here is fine, but to get up there, I don't know. Oh. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome. Look at that. Yeah, so. I don't know. Let's go 50-50 if it's actually filmed in here or not. It, it's, it's not established anywhere. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull the video up and I'm going to do a little research and we'll get back with you all in a second. All right, folks. Scott and I just stumbled upon what I'm going to consider to be one of my most famous things I've ever seen because I, nobody else has showed this on videos yet. This is the exact spot. I think me and Scott were like the first ones to find this on video. I'm sure not the first ones ever, but... I haven't seen it and I've done a ton of research. I'm gonna line up some shots here for you. I'm gonna point some things out and I'll walk you through this right here. If you notice, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There's some wires hanging right here, okay? I'm gonna show you a shot now and you're gonna see a light on the front of the barn. Mm -hmm. This is the power wire to that light. I'm almost certain of it because it's in the exact location. Well, it's gotta be. It has, I mean, what, it, makes, it has to be. Yeah, you know there's, no I mean? other, there's no other reason we for it. We walked around this barn and it's, it's, all the angles match up. So we're going to move into this uh, bay right here. This is the only bay in this whole shed that is concrete in the video that we can tell anyways. There's so yeah. much dirt in here. This is it's muddy as crap. We're, you know, but this whole bay right here is concrete. I'm, I'm going to include a uh, screenshot here and, whoa, you scared the cover. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of snake had my leg. But we're going to, uh, I'm going to include a, uh, a shot here and I'm, I'm going to point out several things to you, okay? Notice the ground's concrete. In the screenshot I'm fixing to show you, the ground is shiny underneath the car, so it has to be concrete. I'm gonna walk forward a little bit while y'all are looking at that and show you some more things when we get up there. So we were sitting here looking at this, trying to figure out the exact location of where Harry was talking to the car. And y'all look up to the right top corner of the screen. You see the window, the holes up there? That's gonna match up exactly with the screenshot I'm showing you right now, okay? Also look at the round I'm gonna say they're probably cedar posts to be here this long. They stagger. There's a two by six, then a round post, two by six round post. They go all the way to the back side of the barn. On the left side of uh, your screen right now, there's four, there's four uprights that are leaning to the right a little bit. Notice the three beyond that on the left side of the screen. Okay, those are actually shown in the movie. You can see them, okay? Those are supports for this side of the awning over here. Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to go a little closer right here, and I'm going to show you the chains. Yeah, the chains are the coolest thing. Yeah, well, Scott, will you go up there and point for me if you don't yeah. mind, man? These are the chains where the freaking lights were hanging, man. The lights are there. I guess I'd call them, but it's a long Yeah. Place, but they go all the way down. 
Yeah. And they're in the exact spot. So these were holding the lights. And the power cord goes along. Yep. Which makes complete sense. Oh, man. So this is talking about geek out moments. No. Oh, <laughs> man. This is like one of those moments, man. We've been trying to do this for a couple of minutes. If, if you, if you, sorry, I just want to say that if you were to come out here, I never say this, but if you were to come out here and see this, you can get onto the second floor. Yeah. We did. You can. No, you can't. Yeah. But they filmed it down right down yeah. there. It, that's where the scene was filmed. But it just right, right here when I'm looking in the back, I'm like, I want to climb up there again. I, lo yeah. I love it. So Scott can get up there. Scott's very uh, nimble. Sure. A guy like me, it's not in my good interest to get up there. We're going to bring this whole bar down, barn down and it will be a pile of rubble. But uh, how cool was that, man? Uh, I am still like geeked out about yeah, that. I'm sorry wild. to be so excited, but man, I never thought that I was actually going to be able to see that. Yeah. Uh, so anyways. I said before that it wasn't a, it wasn't what we see, but I, as a huge Tom Cruise fan, I just want to clarify, because Rain Man... I'm definitely not wearing my underwear. Cocktail. Singapore sling the ding -a -ling. Top Gun. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Jeremy Garf. I'm not going to do what you all think I'm going to do, which is just... Listen. Four of my favorites. Oh. Days of Thunder I still loved, but yeah. it, it wasn't my favorite. Yeah. And so for me, this... I'm from the South. Uh, Racing down here is kind of like college football. I'm not a huge NASCAR fan, but I keep an eye on it. When this movie came out, it's like Top Gun to me. I, we, we were watching some clips a minute ago, and I told Scott, I said, man, this crap makes my, my hair on my arm stand up. No, you said it gives you a bone. Yeah. See, I figured I was just going to get off. And then he said, look at it. You weren't supposed to know. Cut that out. But anyways, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'll cut it out. All right. But, so we have a good time, folks. Yeah. But, uh, I'm going to pause because I want to cut that for a second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now, we're out here having a good time, man. Uh, I'm going to take y'all to Hendrix Motorsports Car Museum, and I'm going to show y'all the car that was built right there, okay, by Rick Hendrix's team, well documented. Can't believe I found that, man. Y'all check this out. Folks, we barely got down here. We had about five minutes to spare, and they let me come in and check this car out, man. So this is actually a screen-used car from Days of Thunder. Pretty awesome. They let me come behind the ropes a little bit and check it out a little bit closer. Wow. Talk about one of the all-time great movies to be this close to that car. There's photos in the back.
right, folks. I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. I have thoroughly loved making this video, and it's probably my number one favorite video that I've made now. It's just fun doing stuff like this. Oh, man. Easy and fun. So this is Scott's first time being on my channel. We've known each other for a while now. We've hung out many, many times. Yeah, and I, I was like, you just told me that. I said it, and I was like, yeah. well, we've been filming, but it's all been on my channel. Yeah, everything's been on Scott's channel. So my first time on Big Bake on the Move channel. Yeah. So a couple of fun facts about this movie y'all may not know that Rick Hendrick did some interviews on this, and he was sharing some of the likeness, the characters that were casted in likeness of the real people in the real sport. And uh, Rowdy Burns, who was played by uh, uh, Michael Rooker, Michael Rooker, was casted for the part of Dale Earnhardt. Okay, Tom Cruise, Cole Trickle, was. I remember at the time also, by the way, the name Cole Trickle. There was people were made fun of that. The critics savaged the movie a lot of it, and the yeah. name was a big part of it. Cole yeah. Trickle. Yeah. So Tom Cruise was casted for the role of Cole Trickle, which was in real life. Tim Richmond. Yeah. So he was uh, po he was basically labeled as the playboy of NASCAR yeah. back then. And I think he, he died of complications with AIDS. That's where the the uh, the doctor Nicole Kidman came in in real life. He had a doctor that was helping him with the stuff going on. So that it was kind of a real life romance, man. Exactly. It, uh, I don't know that they actually had a romantic situation between them two, but in the movie, obviously, Tom. At Cruise, the time when it came out, I, I mean, I, it's a long time, but I th I thought it was just all fiction. I yeah. just learned all this today that you told me that's based on real, yeah, like the Dale Her Earnhardt stuff and all that. No clue. Makes yeah. sense now. And it was, I believe. It was a pretty rushed script. Nicole Kidman had just been in Dead Calm the year before, so you think about it, it came out in 1990. Yeah. From what I remember, they wrote it fast. He wa Tom Cruise wanted a race car yeah. movie. It yeah. was one of his passions at the time. He's a you know he's Tom Cruise, daredevil, flying. Exactly. Plane. Yeah. So I believe he, they rushed it to get it out. Yeah. So at another scene that uh, was copied was when Rowdy and uh, Cole Trickle had the meeting with the NASCAR president, which was played by Fred Thompson. That was a true meeting that really happened between NASCAR's uh, president or CEO at that time. Um, and the, in real life, it was uh, Jeff Bodine and Dale Earnhardt. Right. So yeah, there's so many tie-ins in real life that really happened. And uh, this movie is just an awesome movie for me. I love watching it. And uh, we're gonna wrap this up right here. We're getting a little bit long-winded. So uh, thank you for coming, Scott. Oh, man, awesome. this has been an I'm awesome glad, trip. Glad we did. This has been so cool to see. It has, man. It's been. Uh, we've crawled all over this barn trying to check it out, trying to find this location, and we Carl got Cruz, it. Robert Duvall, John C. Riley, we're all here. Oh yeah, That's exactly, nuts. man. So yeah, so thank y'all for watching the channel. If y'all are still here, man, y'all have to like what we're doing. If you don't like me, go check out Scott. Like, share, subscribe to Scott. If you don't like me, go and come on. If you're here, go ahead, and hit me up too. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. And uh, thank y'all again. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thank you. Bye. Bye.